novel coronavirus. It's been spreading across the world rapidly, starting from Chinese city Wuhan to the epicenter has moved to Europe now. The fatality rate of coronavirus is pretty uh, pretty less when compared to the other variations, it's 3.4. But more worrisome is it's spreading very rapidly. Within 45 days of outbreak, it approximately reached about a, a hundred thousand people, and it, it's currently, the, the, as of today, it's about 156,000 people has been affected or been affected by this coronavirus. This quick graph shows that in comparing to SARS, Ebola, MERS, and swine flu, coronavirus at the day 39, 40, uh, 42, it's exponentially higher. The, 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 the way it's spreading is, is much higher than any of the other variants. variants. So it is also called in different names. Coronavirus or novel corona is called as 2019 N COVID, SARS CoV 2, COVID 19 Wuhan virus because it's from the city of Wuhan. Originated from 31st of December 2019 from Wuhan city, reported. And as of now, it has about 152 countries uh, been infected by Wuhan uh, virus or coronavirus. The, the total case as of today is is 156,738 and number of people who could not make it uh, 5,800 and recovered, which is the good news, 75,000. So it basically says that the fatality rate is around 3.5. So um, it's, it's, not, it, it's, it's much better than, it's not that deadly as the other viruses we have seen. These are the active cases and those are the closed ones. And overall, you can see that the closed ones, 93% people have recovered. Right. And the people who could not recover are mostly are older ages or have already existing um, asthma or uh, you know heart disease, heart diseases or other complications who could not make it. It's not the first time you're looking at this kind of pandemic. We, in 1980, Spanish flu is, was much more deadlier. It actually affected 500 million people, which is at that time is about one third of the world population. And India, uh, about 15 million people were actually uh, could not make it, which is about 1.5 crore. Globally, the death toll was 50 million to 100 million people. It's about, um, it's, it's very high. It's, it's very, very high. Another interesting pattern is Spanish flu affected the people who are between 20 to 40 because that's, that's considered to be healthy age. So it's not actually for the affected the older and, and younger, it actually affected 20 to 40 age group. So that's, that's a very unique feature of this pandemic. Mm -hmm. A quick comparison chart of other, other respiratory viral infections and compared to uh, uh, the coronavirus. A common flu has an incubation period of one to four days, which means we get a common flu, one or two days you actually show the symptoms, all right? And uh, the fatality rate is 0.05%. It's, it's very low, which means about 99.95% you survive. Okay. When it comes to the um, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, uh, MERS, COVID, its fatality rate is pretty high, it's 34.5. So every uh, third of a person was infected, could not make it, right? But um, the incubation period is six days, which means within six days you see symptoms. And the SARS for the, uh, the fatality rate is about 9.6 to 11%, two to seven days. And what's special about COVID, what we are facing right now, it has a much higher incubation period. It has four to 14 days of incubation period, which means a person affected won't show any symptoms and they just go away and, and, and interact with others. Being looking healthy, so he is still carrying the virus. It's easy to get transmitted. And this is one of the biggest concerns of coronavirus because the incubation period is pretty high. So you don't see any symptoms from four to 14 days, let's say approximately 10 days, roughly. So in this 10 days, you could easily, I mean, you and you don't know. So you, there's a very high chance that others can actually get that. This translated to higher communal attack or spread. So 30 to 40 percent communal spread for coronavirus, which is the reason it is becoming a pandemic and exponentially increasing the people who are getting affected. Let's come to India. These are the numbers of India, new cases, 
uh, day wise well there are cases reported on february as well and january but uh, in kerala so those cases were quarantined and it becomes zero for quite some time actually from um, march 2nd the the the, the, the spread actually started start, start happening so march 2nd before march 2nd we only have three cases which were actually uh, released and march 2nd we started with three and three and 22 there's a sudden increase most of the people are coming from outside the country and then it 1136. If you look at the cumulative factor, total cases, so we are right now around 100. So as of today, from yesterday's report, we are around 100. And the growth factor is around 1.16, 1.2, roughly, on an average. Growth factor is uh, yesterday's, uh, today's case, total number of cases divided by yesterday's total number of cases. Basically shows you how fast it is spreading. Um, Quickly about the origins. So we, we really actually don't know what's the origin because we know the origin for the other two viruses in uh, uh, virals, uh, pandemic viral, viral diseases, SARS and, and MERS, cov has a direct animal uh, trace. But for, for um, COVID-19, a uh, novel corona, we really don't know what was the cause. It's still, it's still, it's still not, being, not being found. Transmission is, 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 as of now, as we know, is happening. It, it's a subject between human to human. So there is no animal to human being traced. Human to human transmission is established. And it is through, you know, if you, if you are very near to an infected person by coughing or by sneezing, the droplets which of, of the fluids from your nose and, and mouth contains the coronavirus directly affects the, uh, the person opposite to that. That's a one major mode of transmission. Other one is, as you'd have already read in many things, so the, the droplets might fall on the on the furnitures, on the tables, and, 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 and other things, which could stay alive for about two hours to few days, based on the weather condition, other conditions. So if you touch those tables, you might get the, the fluids, and then you touch your nose or eyes or mouth, then there is a chance of uh, transmission. These are the two main transmissions as of now we've been confirmed. How do you recognize whether you have coronavirus or a flu or, or a simple common or, or a common cold? Well, very simple question. Uh, do you have a fever more than 104 degrees? Or do you have a high fever more than 100 degrees? Right. If you have a high fever, if you don't have a high fever, if you have a cough and, and the cold and other things, it's is mostly a common cold. All right. If you have a high fever, and the next question is, do you have a shortness of breath? Or do you have a difficulty taking breath? If yes, then there's a very high chance that you might have been infected with coronavirus. If no, it could be a, a flu. All right. So this, this chart basically tells you. So do you have a fever? Yes. Do you have a shortness of breath? Yes. Then yes, you have a you have to go for diagnosis for corona. If you don't have a shortness of breath, it should be probably a flu. If you don't have a fever, then it is a common cold or some allergies you might have. Top five preventive measures as per WHO.
So as um, Franklin D. Roosevelt, the 32nd president of US America, said, the only thing we have to fear is a fear itself. Well, from the current coronavirus perspective, it might be said something like this, the only thing humans have to fear is a lack of fear. Because I see people going around doing all kinds of stuff, but that's a big problem. If you don't have a fear for this pandemic, then you are actually making it more pandemic. You are you are you are you are being an enabler for the spread. So uh, we should be afraid of coronavirus, but with all the preventive, you don't have to panic. But um, only thing we need to be afraid of is the lack of fear. So, so just step back and ensure that you're not doing any un, uh, unnecessary travels, unnecessary gatherings. Strictly, strictly restrict all of the activities for at least a couple of weeks from now because that is a major factor for reducing the spread. The probability, the exposure is a direct factor of your pandemic. If you can reduce exposure, every, everyone who takes a measure to, to, to not to travel, not to go to the shops, not to go to the gatherings, will have a very significant effect, exponential effect in containing coronavirus. You would save uh, hundreds and thousands of people's life by just not going away from your places. So strictly, strictly avoid going out and going into gatherings. Also, strictly avoid forwarding messages which are not verified. And you know, now it's also illegal. Uh, you, 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 it's a punishable offense to forward something which you're not verifying it. There are lots of hoax and myths and rumors being around in WhatsApp and other social media channels. If you don't find the authenticated links or a proper source, please do not forward. Okay. And I would say World Health Organization has all the information you need. Just go check it out, who.int. That contains all of the information. So you don't need anything else. All right. So that's it. So all together, if we follow the preventive measures and help each other, we'll definitely fight this coronavirus. Thank you.